Alrighty, a lot of you have been in the comment section asking for this five-year plan updated for Canada's Wonderland. Um, we had the great opportunity to go to Canada's Wonderland's Media Day for Yukon Striker and talk to a bunch of the park officials. Um, and we got a lot of information from that. You, you'll learn a lot by just talking to your park officials if you happen to be in the park and you run by them. You know, asking them questions, you learn a lot and you don't have to ask them like what's coming next because they're not going to answer that. But um, so <laughs> I guess in this video, I'm going to take what I learned at Canada's Wonderland's Media Day for Yukon Striker and put it into a five year plan. What do I honestly think is coming to Canada's Wonderland? Um, and again, this is my opinions. And these are things that like I've learned. These aren't facts, nothing factual about them. So please just take it with a grain of salt. Um, as my opinions, but I definitely think this has a very likely um, possibility to, to somewhat come true. Um, and I think a lot of you might see what I mean through the presentation. So we just had 2019 with the launch of Yukon Striker, a very large addition to the park, very expensive. Um, and I want to talk about that for a second. So we did learn and get confirmation. Again, this is 100% confirmed that Yukon Striker was paid for and purchased in 2015. Um, it was paid for in 2015. It was supposed to open in 2016. That was confirmed to us. Um, and it was delayed for a multitude of reasons that I won't get into um, in this video. But um, that leaves a very large gap in uh, Cedar Fair and Canada's Wonderland's uh, investments in the park. So from 2015 until 2019, we have not paid for a roller coaster, a big expansion. Um, and that is why you're seeing a lot of upgrades to the park. So the with that money being saved on roller coaster expansions, you're seeing uh, Frontier Canada launch. So we've got a massive new area. You're seeing Medieval Fair being renovated completely. So it's got all new paint, all new signs. Um, you're seeing upgrades to even Behemoth Station. It was painted. You're seeing the um, Kingswood area being like upgraded. Um, and you're going to see a lot more upgrades coming as well. From what I understand, the park is going to be <laughs> just permanently being upgraded um, continuously. So you're going to see things like Frontier Canada expanding again. You're going to see the World Exposition expanding again. Um, and the kids area is definitely going to be a very big part of this expansion. This is something that we did get to talk to the officials at Wonderland about. Um, so over the next two years, you're going to see a very large focus on seven-year-olds and their mothers. Um, so that's definitely going to be the Kids Area expansion. Um, it could also be Frontier Canada and Splashworks. So um, let's get into 2020. Um, so in 2020, I definitely think you're going to see um, Dinosaurs Alive renovated into Camp Snoopy. Um, we don't have Camp Snoopy yet, and uh, I definitely think that's going to be it. Now, there's two possibilities where this could go. They could either build... Um, a small expansion that's Camp Snoopy in that pink highlighted area where Dinosaurs Alive is, or they're going to renovate in the Frontier Canada section and turn that into Camp Snoopy. Thus, there's this transition between Frontier Canada and Camp Snoopy that makes sense instead of Kidsville, Frontier Canada. I would like to see the later of the two. Um, I definitely think that Camp Snoopy and Frontier Canada being next to each other would look really nice. Um, and you can fit a nice big restaurant um, in Action Theater's queue line plot of land, um, if you're not going to use that for a roller coaster. And it could be very similar to Carowinds' um, I forget what the restaurant is called, but it's like that giant eatery right before you enter Camp Snoopy at Carowinds. Um, I believe um, that would work really well at Canada's Wonderland. We're missing that, you know, with the giant stage, the giant eatery, the cafeteria, and like a giant seating area. Wonderland really needs something massive like that, and we're lacking. Um, so those are two areas that I could definitely see for 2020. Um, Splashworks is also up there. So 2020 and 2021 are definitely going to be kids expansions and water park expansions mixed into the two. Now with the water park expansion, um, this is where it gets really interesting. We don't have a lot of land to play with. So I've circled the two areas in blue. Um, I think the smaller blue section next to Behemoth is going to house one water slide complex. And the giant blue section is either going to house a wave pool or water slides, or a parking lot. Now, this is this is where it gets really tricky. So Canada's Wonderland is one of the few Cedar Fair parks, big Cedar Fair parks, that does not have separate parking and separate um, admission. Um, again, other parks, you can enter, and by separate admission, I mean enter in at a different area with a parking lot. It makes sense. We're running at a parking lot for even the main park as a whole. 
So adding a second parking lot in that big giant blue area where the forest is with that second entrance into the Splashworks itself and having people who are just attending Splashworks park there or someone that just wants to attend Splashworks for the day and not necessarily the dry park, being able to go there and park there would make a lot of sense and save a lot of parking. I could definitely see that coming. Um, again, that is a little far-fetched. The parking lot idea is far-fetched. Um, and I think they do need that tree line space for an expansion for the water park. So I think you're more likely to see a second wave pool like we see at the other Cedar Fair parks um, with uh, maybe some slide complexes in a restaurant or something. Um, so those blue areas, uh, t again, 2020, 2021, it's going to be a kids expansion and a water park expansion if I had to put my money down on it. And this is where things get really interesting. So Frontier Canada, we know, is going to continuously expand. Now, it's very difficult to fit that into what year that's going to come because based off of the interviews we had with the park officials, every year they're going to be upgrading Frontier Canada and World Expo. So I can't really pick a year. Um, I can fit in additions to a year, but I'm going to assume moving forward, you're going to see Frontier Canada and World Expo and Medfair upgraded every year. You're even going to see small upgrades come to Splashworks. We got that confirmation in 2018 with the addition of Lumberjack in an interview that Splashworks was going to slowly be upgraded each year um, into more Canadian theming. So the brown area I circled highlighting Whitewater Canyon is definitely going to be one of those areas that they're going to upgrade into more Canadian theming. I don't think we're going to see a coaster take up that plot of land. Not just yet. I think in 2022, um, this is when we're going to see a mock double launch. Now, a lot of you are probably looking at my map going, where is it going to fit? Well, um, the big red circle over Timberwolf Falls is where I think our mock double launch is going to go. Carolyn's removed their shoot the shoot for the mock double launch. And I think we're going to do exactly that. I think Whitewater Canyon is more popular. Um, and uh, Shoot the Shoot at Wonderland Timberwolf Falls is really ugly. It's an eyesore. And a mock double launch themed to Frontier Canada would make much more sense. You can even extend my red area over the tree line next to Lumberjack. And it would fit a much larger um, Copperhead Strike. Again, Copperhead Strike, and I'm putting it up on here to show you guys. Um, can fit in this area very easily, especially if you extend that red line over the tree line next to Lumberjack. So <laughs> that's definitely the area. I forgot to breathe during that whole sentence. I just had to take the deepest breath. But that is definitely an area that I think we need to watch out for for a 2022 roller coaster. Again, a lot of you are like, well, you just got Yukon Striker. Um, you have to remember this is an expansion park now. We're getting a hotel. Um, we have not spent uh, money on a roller coaster in four years. So by the time we get a coaster in 2022, that's like seven, eight years um, for buying a roller coaster. It fits into the timeline. You know, we were pushed back. That doesn't mean we're pushed back permanently. This is a park that they're investing a lot of money into, and we cannot deny that. Um, so now you guys are probably like, well, Brendan, I see Speed City Raceway circled as well. So the orange circles are areas that are to watch out for. So I want to bring up a fact um, Speed City Raceway, from what I've been able to tell, has not been profitable for quite some time. It looks like it's a struggling attraction. Medfair, they're upgrading into a medieval fair themed area. They're really putting an emphasis on theming. Um, so that's why I circled Drop Tower and Speed City. They do not fit in. Um, I think you're going to see a repaint of Drop Tower. Maybe even next season you might see the repaint, just like we saw over at CGA. Um, and you're going to see it turn into probably, if I had to guess, the only thing they could really turn it into is some sort of castle tower, if that makes sense to you guys. I could definitely see that coming. Um, and Speed City Raceway, I think it's just going to go um, and be bulldozed for a bit until they choose what to do with that land. I don't think we're going to see anything again. Maybe a mock double launch could go over there, too, um, if they choose to upgrade Medfair anymore. But I think Medfair is full of attractions and it doesn't need another roller coaster or flat ride. That thing is packed full of additions um, and attractions that I don't think we need to add anything. So I definitely think you need to keep an eye on Speed City Raceway. I can't see it lasting too much longer. Um, and then Flight Deck and Time Warp, I definitely think don't fit in um, to the new World Expo. It's going to need to be rethemed um, or shipped out and replaced by a wing coaster way down the road. So I think you're going to see a mock double launch and then four to five years after that mock double launch, you're going to see a wing coaster added to Wonderland, and maybe that'll finish off the expansion um, with a front gate wing coaster. But again, that's not going to happen for some time. Um, so don't keep an eye on it anytime soon. I don't think these coasters are leaving our park anytime soon. And Time Warp does oddly fit into the World Expo because um, I think it has a Mayan type theme if they really wanted to go down that route. 
but flight deck is definitely gonna need a retheme, which brings me to the yellow circles. So the yellow circles, um, you see Wonder Mountain's Guardian and you see the Backlot Cafe. Backlot Cafe, same story. It does not fit into World Expo. So they need to reno that. I think that's gonna be renoed next year, to be honest. I was actually expecting a renovation of Backlot Cafe for this season. Um, so I'm a little kind of weirded out that it isn't. I know that area is really ugly. I hate that restaurant on the interior. The air conditioning doesn't work. It's falling apart. The TVs in there don't work either. It needs a reno. It's got to come. So I'm guessing for 2020, we're going to see a reno of Backlot into some sort of World Expo theme. I really miss the old um, Asian theme that that building had. It was so gorgeous. Paramount came in and ruined that. And from what we heard in our interviews, Cedar Fair is looking to go back to the era before Paramount, and I would love to see that Asian theme return. Now, um, Wonder Mountain's Guardian. So this is what's interesting. At the end of last season, you've heard me talk about this in other videos, that ride was not working. That ride had two trains running, the guns weren't working on either of those two trains. I think there were like maybe three guns working. And lo and behold, this ride has not opened for this season yet. I know it's only been a couple days, but it has not been open for bank days, it has not been open for season pass holders day. Um, and I'm going to look for this weekend. If it's not open, something weird is going on and they're going to have to renovate this ride. So again, yellow is renovate. Um, it doesn't mean tear out. It doesn't mean thing, but this ride might have to close for a season and be upgraded, or it might have to close for a while and be upgraded. And I would love to see that happen because this ride has a lot of potential. Um, and it's really good when it's working, but it has not worked for a while. So I would love to see this ride return to its glory. Um, and I know it isn't like glory, but I would love to see, you know, some theming added in there, you know, instead of just seeing a wall and screens when you're in that mountain. I would love to see some theming from the screen to the floor to hide that little wall like they do at Knott's Berry Farm. And I would just love some working guns. Honestly, that would complete the ride for me. And I think that's exactly what it needs. So, again, let's go over it in full because I think I've rambled on, but I'm trying to give you as much information that I learned at Media Day as possible in this video. So again, in 2020 and 2021, you're going to see um, a kids expansion and probably a water splashworks expansion for seven year olds and their moms. Again, keywords, seven year olds and their moms or younger. Um, and in uh, 2022, uh, you're going to see probably the mock double launch. It could go in Medfair in Speed City's Raceway, or it could go in Timberwolf Falls. Those are the two areas I'm going to work with. Um, you're probably going to see a uh, Whitewater Canyon expansion somewhere in the next three years, like we're seeing at Knott's Bay Farm to fit in with Frontier Canada. Um, again, at Media Day, I saw a lot of construction workers in there. They are renovating the ride slightly, not what we're seeing at Knott's Bay Farm because I didn't see too much, but there's definitely a tension going on there. Um, and then in 2023, um, I think you're going to see kids in water park again. And through these years, you're going to see these smaller additions uh, renovated throughout the park. Wonderland is going to be under a huge renovation um, in terms of theming and stuff over the next five years. And then the final year or the final year five, year six, um, you might see another coaster added. I don't think we're going to get too many more flats because we already have enough. Um, but that a hold, that is my five year plan. Hope you guys enjoyed it. You've been asking for it for a while. Um, and again, that is packed with a lot of juicy information. So hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't and share this video for others to enjoy. Thanks so much for watching guys. Have a good one. Bye.